Everybody, what it do, what it do, man. So today, I am the Lone Ranger, man. I'm going to be hustling by myself all day today. I know it's supposed to be a hot, excruciating, painful hot day today. So, man, I'm going to do what I can. Hopefully, I don't overdo it and start feeling bad. You no, know, yesterday, I was, uh, I made a video yesterday, but I didn't post it because the simple fact was yesterday, my ex-girlfriend, she passed away yesterday in a car wreck. So, you know, that's part of the reason why I didn't post anything because I started I started snapping on everybody. So, you know, it just wasn't the right move to put on there. So, I didn't post it. So, today, I'm doing all right. I'm going to see how far I can make it. You know, and, I mean, it's... It's a tragedy, you know, it is a real bad tragedy right now, you know, and I'm just tired of losing all my, all my good friends and everything. I done lost a friend. I done lost one friend in Houston to suicide. Uh, one of my other friends, he got killed in our hometown, Riverdale, Georgia. And now my ex, she passed away from a car wreck yesterday about 1.50 in the morning. So that's when I actually got the phone call. But I didn't actually get the phone call until uh, like 8 o'clock in the morning when her daughter actually called me. Because she had texted me like 3 o'clock in the morning to let me know what had happened. But I was dead asleep. So, you know, and she's calling around, calling everybody, looking for me and stuff and everything. But, you know, she finally got a hold to me. Finally got a hold to me, told me the bad news. So, you know. <sighs> I just been at it, man. I just been at it. So, like I say, today I'm the Long Ranger, baby. We're doing this all solo Johnson today. Everything is solo Johnson today. It is what it is, baby. We're going to make the best of it, man. Your money going to get it, regardless. Y'all give me a sis here. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is right now is processing six cars, crush six cars. Process six crush six. That's the only way I can actually do it without uh, overdoing it, overdoing it on my body. So that's what I'm going for right now. Oh man, the wheels, the wheels is what's kicking my ass right now. That is what's killing me right now. And then plus on top of that, y'all, it is super, super, super hot right now, man. And it's not even 12 o'clock, man. And it's already, it's already hitting like, uh, I think like right now it's like, it's like 97 right now. That's what it is right now. Because it's supposed to get up to like 100 and, I think it's supposed to be like 103 or something today. And this is just the beginning, man. This is just only the beginning. It is what it is. The Long Ranger. Doing it by himself. It is what it is, man. Backbone. You heard me? Man, y'all know it's so crazy. I haven't even started crushing yet, man. And my pants, they are already soaking wet. I mean, soak, soaking wet already, man. A muscle t-shirt. It, it was white. It don't even look white anymore now. Golly, man. Wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't just hot 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 outside but man it's it's burning up out here guys i mean it really is burning up because i know here in a minute before i even start crushing here in a minute i'm gonna take me a little break then start knocking those babies out yeah so this is basically man how i'm doing the cars right now today one on the drain rack one being held up by the loader it's the only way to do it oh my god i'm losing my breath but it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is, man. The job still got to get done, either, even if I got the ground man or not. Still got to get done, baby. It's the thing about it. I'm going to do it. Get it over with. So that way I can chill later on. Man, screaming rest in peace, Amber Barrel, man. You're going to be missed, sweetheart. You're going to be missed, but never forgotten. At the greatest times with you. Greatest times with you. Man, I can't believe you already gone too like that. Man. Oh, man, 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 man. Show is tired of losing friends. So I had somebody ask me, 
What brought me the most money as a ground man? Gas or parts? I'm gonna go with gas. That's what I'm gonna go with, with the gas because the gas you can sell every day. You know what I mean? I was selling gas every day, every day, every day. About a 50 gallon drums after I, after I surpassed the 25 gallon drums and the five gallon drums went up to the 50 gallon drums. That's where, that's where a lot of the most money was made at for me right there that's why i made the most at every day every day anywhere from just in one day it'd be like anywhere from um, i would say probably anywhere from three four hundred dollars a day just doing gas that's not including no parts or nothing like that just only gas that's all it is you know money you know there's tons of money to be made all different type of ways I mean there's tons of it to be made you know you just gotta you just gotta know how to get it you know what I mean you just gotta know how to be a hustler be determined to go out there and get it you know that's the thing about me man I'm determined I am determined to get the money man regardless of the situation so yeah I would say the gas is what brought me more part of I mean brought me more money than anything the parts was not a big deal for me, I really didn't do the parts as much, but as but as I progressed on later on down the road, then I started doing parts, you know. So it was like, you know, do parts here for a little bit and then switch up and do something else, you know, saying differently, you know. So I mean gas wasn't the only thing I made money off of too. You know, I made money off of uh pulling motors out, breaking motors out. So I made money off a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? So but like I always say, y'all, like I always say, if it doesn't make a dollar, then it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense at all. Period. It doesn't make no sense at all, man. Period. I mean, if you're not gonna get out there and get money, then why the hell are you wasting your time, man? Why are you wasting your time? Hell, they don't call me G Money for no reason, man. It's the reason why I'm called G Money, man. It is a reason why. I don't and I don't explained it, I done showed it, and I done proved it so many times right here. Right here in this place. Right here, man. So I mean, you know, I made, you know, I made a made a couple of a couple of hundred dollars out of this place. Well, I take that back. I take that back. I probably made about a good thousand dollars out of this place already. You know, I mean that's probably within a couple of weeks, you know, because I mean when you do this by yourself, man, it takes a lot out of it, you know what I mean? So you can only do so much by yourself, you know? So, but if you got a helper, you know, it, it uh, you know, it's it's a little bit better for you. It's not as much stress on you. Like, now it is on me. It is a lot of stress on me right now because I have to deal with all these tires and stuff and gas and everything else I got to deal with. So it is a little bit, you know, but hey. There ain't nothing that I can't handle, man. That's the thing about it. G-Money, he can handle any and everything, man. He can handle any and everything. All right, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. How did me and Cowboy become become good friends? Oh, man. How we became good friends, man. I brought Cowboy into my hustling world, y'all. That's how me and Cowboy became good friends, man. Cause I was at, uh, I was, I was actually working at Gary, my old hustle spot, all about that time, and uh, I got a phone call from the boss, Gerald. Hey man, you gonna have a new, uh, you are gonna have a new guy for tomorrow? I said, okay, all right, no problem. You no, know, he's like, he's like, he's a cool dude, man. Just, you know, work with him, such so, so woo woo, yada yada yada. I'm like, no man, you got to work with me, man. That's the thing, he got to work with me. So. Me and Cowboy, we met up for the first time. We was over there at Gary's. We met up on the way there. You know what I'm saying? We was just chopping it up, talking on the way there. And uh, I was like, hey, you know what, man? There's one thing about it, man. If I bring you into my hustle, you say anything about it, man, you already know it's going to be very happy. So he was like, oh, gee, man, you ain't got to worry, man. You ain't got to worry. So, so, all right, all right. You know, and when I brought him up in that hustle world, man, we just been good. We just been good ever since, man. Ever since, you know. Cause I mean, hey, I helped us bring a lot of money to our pockets, man. 
you know, a lot of money to our pockets. You know, and like I say, ever since then, man, we've just been good friends, you know. Ever since then, we've been really good friends. You know, not too many people who could, not too many people that could become friends. They could become friends like that and not get greedy over the money, you know what I mean? You know, so that's a, so, so that was a good thing there. That was a very good thing with Cowboy. He didn't get greedy with the money or anything. You know what I'm saying? The days that we did make money, you know, we split the money in half, 50 50, all down the middle. Like I told him, I said, man, we make this money, everything's 50 50, baby. Ain't no solo, ain't no you by yourself, ain't none of that, man. We in this together. We in it to win it. Simple as that. As base as what it is, we are in it to win it, baby. Man. Oh man, it is really, really cooking out there. Really, really cooking. So now I got the first seven cars out the way. So now it's time for me to do another seven cars back to back. Because basically what I'm doing, I'm doing doing something to doing like the cars back to back so that way I can crush a little bit faster. And I know I'm not taking all day, you know, getting this load done because I'm probably going to end up probably gonna end up hitting two lows today by myself y'all that's over that'll be that that'll be probably a little bit over 30 some cars because when they ain't got no motors i ain't gonna put like 17 18 cars to a load so you know it'd be like extra cars i gotta do but it is what it is man i'm not even complaining man it's the long wolf taking care of business man that's all what it is like the boss said man like he said, man, it's all about taking care of the business and getting the job done. You heard me? <laughs> Why do I take crushing to another level? Why not? Why not take crushing to another level? I mean, not a lot of people want to see plain Jane crushing. You know what I mean? They want to see stuff crushed up all different type of ways. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, you know, that's the reason why I do what I do and I take everything to a different level. It's the reason why I kind of push a little bit overboard sometimes but you know I mean it is what it is man it's just part of the entertainment baby that's all it is just part of the entertainment you know sometimes you know sometimes some things you do got to go overboard with sometimes you know I mean it is what it is it's just part of this part it's just part of the uh part of the game that's all you know you can't complain about you can't complain about spoiled milk if it's not rotten yet you know what I mean? So that's the thing about it. You can't complain about something if if it's not if if it's not spoiling any type of way. You know? I mean, it is what it is. You know? Like I can say you always gotta do some things different. You know? Why not take some things to extreme, man? Just like just like how you got a lot of these base jumpers and race cars and, and these guys doing tricks on skateboards and bikes. Because they're taking things to the next level. That's all it is. That's all there is to it. You know, you take it to the next level, man. Things come out of, you know, things come out a little bit differently, you know what I mean? So, you know, hey. You know, just do what you gotta do, baby. That's basically what I'm doing. Doing what I gotta do, but I'm having fun with it at the same time. You know what I mean? Then entertaining you guys right along with it, you know? Just like the same way, just like the same way some people ask, why do some things happen? Well, some things they happen for a reason. It's a reason why they happen. You know? I mean, but it is what it is, baby. You give me one second. So now, I gotta go back on each bundle. Turn back around and wrap every bundle now. Oh, I should have had done it when I took it out to crush your butt, man. Oh, man. It's right here. It's, it's wearing me out, y'all. It really is. It's wearing me out today. But I'ma still keep on pushing, baby. Still keep pushing. Still keep going. It is what it is. I ain't gonna let no little sweat and pain, a sweat, pain, and blood stop me. I'ma keep on pushing, baby. Keep on pushing. Hey, I wanna know how many people can say they can do my job. They can do what I do. Drive the loaders, drive the cars, I mean, drain the cars, take the wheels off, pick up trash, wrap the cars, stack the bundle. All in a day's work, baby. All in a day's work. I 
and there we go right there a whole row of number just bundles crushed cars man that's all it is man I'll tell you man i'm totally different i'm built different than everybody else totally different tony on the target but y'all know what before this day is over with i'm gonna be walking around looking like a burnt piece of toast before the day is over with you can best believe that but it is what it is baby it is what it is first load already done well you know what that means here comes part two of the load man whoa i hate when they take off the damn body Makes it so difficult sometimes, but it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. Big V8. So I'm waiting for these damn dudes, man. I'm waiting for them to get finished, so I can uh, so I can crush this Ram 50, which has been sitting in the same spot for about two weeks now, waiting on these dudes to take the damn motor out of. That's what I'm waiting on right now. Y'all know what time it is, man. With G Money. They money gonna crush any and everything. Any and everything gets crushed with me, baby. Doesn't matter what it is. Classic, no classic, brand new car, old car. G money gonna crush everything. Some of you, some of you subscribers that's been with me for a while, y'all know how I am, man. Y'all know how I get down. You know, the new ones are just joining. Man, it's a crazy channel sometimes, y'all. Get pretty big to go off in here sometimes too. It really can. But y'all know what it is. So it take me a break right quick if I start the next one. Yes, I'm back for some more hot action, man. Y'all, it done hit. It is a hundred and three already out here. And it's just only one o'clock in the afternoon, and I still got four more hours before it actually hits its mark. Man, it is hot, y'all. Like I said earlier, man, by the time I leave this place, man, I'm going to be looking like a burnt piece of toast. Watch. Just watch and see. You'll see. Man, what is up? Yep, I'm back. I'm back. So I had somebody ask me if I can crush two trucks, one regular and one upside down on top of the other truck. I told him, sure. We can do it. Anything is possible. I do anything. I can do it all. Ain't nothing I can't do. I'm always on it, baby. Always, baby. Come on now. Come on, come on. Get you right here. There we go. There we go. Got you just perfect. Man, this is how we're going to do that, baby. This is how we're going to do that. Take care of that right there. Man, so why do things happen? Things happen for a reason. Oh man, I just pushed my crusher back. You know, things happen for a reason, man. It's the reason why things happen. You know, I mean, it could be a test of your skills. It could be a test of your wits. It could be a test of your willpower. It could be. It could be a test of see how you're gonna. You know, say see how you're gonna react with somebody. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it, could be, it, could, it could mean a million things, the reason why things happen, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not, just, it's not just only because of, you know, bad things or good things. I mean, things just happen, you know? It's a reason why people get in a relationship. It's a reason why people don't want to be in a relationship. Uh, I mean, it's, it's all kind of reasons why, man. I mean, it's reasons why, you know, I, I, I do what I do. It's the reason why I do what I do. It's the reason why, I, you know, you know, other things happen for a reason, man. I mean, like I say, I, it's kind of hard to explain the reason why everything happens, but it's just there to happen, man. Like I say, just like I say, it could be testing your willpower. It could be testing your strength. It could be testing anything. That's the reason why things happen. It's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, like, just like I tell everybody else, a reason is a reason for a reason why. You see what I mean? Just like, uh, uh, it's just like an X is an X for a reason. You know? I mean, that's just, that's, that's, that's just the, that's just the purpose for it. An X is an X for a reason. That's the reason why things happen, you know? Like I say, 
like I say, it's a thing. It's a, it's a reason why you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, the good people end up dying first, and the bad people end up staying. It's the reason why why you know some kids are smarter than others. You know what I mean? Everything, everything is is why 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 this happened? Why this happened? Sometimes you have to sit back and look and see what the reason why it happened. You get what I mean? So. It's all there for a reason. Everything is all there for a reason. It's a reason why a reason is reason why. You get what I mean? So, man, I had somebody ask me, am I scared of a car crushing me? No, I'm not scared of no car crushing me, man. I'm not scared of no falling car. I mean, <laughs> we die, we die. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't too much fear death at all, man. I really don't at all. I really don't don't fear it at all, man. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I mean, hey, it's probably a reason, probably a reason why I got crushed by a car. You know, but it is what it is, baby. I mean, like somebody asked me why things happen. There you go. There you go. They go to answer. They go to answer to a question right there. No, I'm not scared, man. What the hell I'm gonna be scared of? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, like I said from the beginning, like I said from the get-go, if it's time for me to go, then guess what? I guess G-Money, I guess it's time for G-Money to uh, say his final goodbyes then, you know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is, man. Now, Pusta, you're not supposed to fear death, man. You want death to fear you. That's the thing about it. I always want death to fear you. You don't fear death. I mean... Like I say, if, if it's time, if it's time for me to go, to go meet my maker, then guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh put my boots on, lace my boots up, get them tight right. Let's go meet my maker. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I mean, what more can you say about that situation? There's really no, there's really no other way of saying it. You know, I mean, it is what it is, baby. There is no other way of saying that at all. It's just not. I mean, like I say, it's just like I say, man, for, you know, like I say, everything happens for a reason. It all happens for a reason, y'all. I mean, it is what it is. You can't sit here and cry about it and boo and, and, and try to feel sad about the situation. Man, get up. Get up and do something about it. That's what you do. You get up and you do something about it. I thought I'd just seen... Oh, there you go. You see, man, I thought I'd just seen old Victor over there. Oh, man. Y'all, I'm so tired of getting up and down on my loader. I really am. I'm so tired. But, this is the situations that I faced. That I faced when you have to work by yourself. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so hot out here. It wouldn't be so bad. It's, I mean, it's hot. Just a minute ago, I just sat in my loader for like 20 minutes, just sitting still, not doing nothing at all. Nothing. Man, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is, man. Man, y'all. Man, right now, y'all, I'm so fired right now. I mean, I'm tired, 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 man. Your son here today don't beat me up bad, man. <laughs> I mean, he done literally beat me up bad. Oh, man. Cause I may just be, this may be my, this may be my stopping point right here. Probably like two more cars. And I think that may be it for me today, y'all. Cause, ooh wait, man, I, uh, like I say, I am tired, tired right now. Man, Ooh. I think my drink falling all over the place. Man, y'all, man, I done spent ten dollars on lunch. What? No, I, I spent ten dollars at lunch, all on drinks, all on drinks. That's all I spent it on was drinks. That was it. Nothing else. Nothing more. That was it. Yeah, so I'm waiting on him to give me the little wagon. Well, not wagon, the Volkswagen, the little beetle, the little love bug, whatever you want to call it. 
It's going to one place in one place only. Y'all should already know. To my crusher, and from there to that upper room, baby. Y'all already know. Oh, yeah, these, yeah, this is going to be the last cars right here, y'all. This is going to be it for me, man, because I'm already, I'm, I'm already starting to feel bad now. I told myself I wasn't going to push myself, but I ended up pushing myself to end up getting the load done. So now, I'm going to end up paying for it. Man, right now, y'all, man, everything is hot to the touch right now, man. Oh, good God. So I went to go pick up the impact, but we used to take our wheels off. I didn't have my gloves on. Man, I hurried up and threw that damn thing down quickly, man. Quickly. Golly, man. I mean, everything is hot to the touch. Ooh, wee. Man, I'm glad this day right here is, is almost over with. I, I'm serious, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I don't even know if I want to come in tomorrow, man. Because I know tomorrow we're supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. And I definitely, definitely not doing this by myself tomorrow. I mean, I ain't had no choice but to do it today in order to get the, you know what I'm saying, get the job done. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit around and out and cry about oh I ain't got this and I ain't got that man I just finna do the job make it happen get it done go home start all over again let's face that's how it goes man face it that's just how it goes the life of a working man Trying to come out. Oh, no, you alright? You alright? You alright? Let's go ahead and finish. You alright? You alright? Oh man. Let's go ahead and take this baby out of here. Man. This is it, y'all, man. I'll finish this chill for the rest of the day, man. I think I done did enough. I think I done did enough cars today, man. I believe I have, cause I got a, I got 18 cars over there, six on this side, two over there on that side, man. I think I done done enough today. I done did enough sweating already. Pants are soaking wet, boxes are soaking wet, shirts soaking wet. Everything I got on is soaked and wet. I mean, it is soaked. Oh man, y'all know what? Y'all stay up, I'll stay up. I get back with y'all, man. Peace.